want to show you palpation of the lumbar vertebrae to figure out if we have possible rotated vertebrae. So w the way I do it, and you know, the more you do this, the easier it gets for you, but the way I do it is to have really just kind of two fingers, um, one on each side of the spinous process. And I'll put just a little bit of pressure so that I can feel that edge of spinous process as I move all the way down. And what I'm feeling for is first off the edge of the spinous process and then I'm feeling for whether or not it's more on one side, more to one side than the other. So as I'm doing this, I may, uh, as I start to go down the line, I start to get a sense of this imaginary line of the lumbar vertebra and as I, as I do that, I start to get a sense of whether that line is broken or not by having a, a spinous process shifted more to one side or the, or the other. And when I do that, I tend to kind of zero in on that and then I may use my thumbs and try to feel, hey, is there a possible rotation by feeling if one side is more posterior than the other. If that's the case, then I may have a little bit of a, a rotation of a vertebra. Again, the way I do it, the more you do it, the easier it gets. You kind of move down the line and you may find something and say, boom, that's it. And for example, if you have the spinous process more towards uh, Mr. Otto's right side, then that could indicate a left rotation of the vertebra. If the spinous process is more on to Mr. Otto's left side, then you may have a possible right rotation because we're basing the rotation on the body of the vertebra. So it could be a right rotation of the vertebra. And like I said, I'll use my thumbs to verify if one sinks in more anteriorly than the other. That could further indicate a rotation of that vertebra. L5 can sometimes be a little bit tricky because it's kind of nestled in between the, the pelvis and in, you know, in this SI joint. So one thing I'll do sometimes is actually sink in here into this, into this little nook and see how much space I have one side versus the other. And sometimes I may find if there's a, a rotation, I'll find less space or, or it'll feel kind of quote unquote crowded in here. Uh, compared to the other side and then um, that could tell me that I have a possible rotation and then I'll create a strategy around that and then check reevaluate see if my strategy was effective so the main reason why I check for rotated vertebra is because it's essentially a, another box that I that I have to check off when I'm uh, working with a client who has low back pain now, I know that rotated vertebra doesn't necessarily equate to back pain, but if someone is coming in with back pain, it's one of those kind of boxes that I check off to make sure that in this particular case, a rotated or torqued vertebra is not part of the client's back pain issue. If I work that, that uh, uh, area of rotation using uh, soft tissue or range of motion, then, and the client feels better, then I know that there was some uh, correlation between that rotation and the client's back pain. If it doesn't resolve the issue, then I know that that's not the case and I need to move on. But um, the reason I bring it into my kind of uh, bag of tricks is just to make sure it's not a, a issue with that particular client. So there you go, folks, a quick uh, palpation uh, to check for rotated vertebrae. Hey folks, thanks for watching the Morales Method YouTube channel. If you want more information on relieving low back pain, please click on the link above for our online course. And if you want more recommended videos, then please click on the links below. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.